Hey everyone, I'm Chase. And I'm Jen. Uh, we're doing an unboxing video uh, for a while now. Jennifer has been wanting one of these uh, dog strollers. I've been kind of against it uh, because I think they look silly, um, but she's kind of talked me into it, so I went ahead and let her get one. And so now that it's here, we're going to be unboxing the Vivo Four Wheel Pet Stroller. Animal up to 30 pounds, which is the good thing. So it just came in the mail today. We have a Boston Terrier named Scarlet who's going to be riding in it. And so we're just going to pop that open. All right. Do you want that on the other side? And just to give a little bit of background, our dog doesn't have any medical disorders or anything. She just doesn't really like to walk very far, which has kind of been a problem when we try to take her to a 5K or take her shopping around our local outdoor mall. So we're hoping with the stroller she's going to be able to walk a little bit more than she's been able to in the past. All right, so, okay, so this is how it came in the mail, just like this. You can see the shipping labels on the front. To be an all right box, here's the pieces. one piece that comes out. Yeah, it looks nothing like it's else. mostly assembled. There's nothing else in it, already, so. And the good thing about this stroller is it has cup holders. All right, so let's see here. So we got four sets of wheels. Um, let's see. The wheels, looks like there's two of them, are double wheels. Looks like there's some sort of wheel locking mechanism there. And then these ones are separate from kind of gear. These feel kind of like, doesn't it feel like- Cheap plastic. Yeah, I wouldn't say, <laughs> it's not It's not a piece of plastic like it's bubbled out, but I would say it's almost kind of like a, like a feels like a foam maybe, like a really hard foam. I mean, I mean, doesn't seem like it's gonna be like, it's not the kind of plastic that would like, you know, slide over or something, but it's kind of like a plastic foam, so hopefully there's some kind of grip there. Um, I never even used a baby stroller, so I don't even know um, how in the heck a dog stroller works. Uh, except that, like a, like a baby stroller, you'd have babies, and in our dog stroller, we're going to have a baby. <laughs> Not a real baby, but a scarlet. She's practically baby. Okay, so we're Right, so we'll just do that for a second. Um, so here's the instructions oh, okay, and the so pack instructions. of screws. So there are screws, instructions, Ooh, instructions. The wheels, there's some pins in here. Let's see here. Please make stroller assembly correct. The stroller assemble correctly according to installation manual. Uh, Looks like the wheels just slide on. Opens up just like we did, that's step one. Step number two, to install front wheels, insert the wheel onto the leg until a click is heard. So is this the front wheel? This looks like the front wheel. So basically you just shove it onto the front until a click is heard. Doesn't really say which way is the top and which way is the bottom. So hopefully, is there anything in the picture that kinda? Not really. So we'll just take a chance. I'll say it's probably this side because you can This is the brake, so make sure. Okay, so just like that. This is the brake though. I think that's supposed to push down when you lock it. It's like a wheel lock or something. So, okay, so it makes it stay, oh, so it makes it so it stays straight. Yeah. There we go. No instructions, we figured it out. So that's that one. So go ahead and slide that on there. Is it supposed to slide up or down though was my no. question. No, this thing. Because I think that matter. makes a difference. No, it doesn't. After you get it on, put it on the other way though. I can't see. I think you're better. No. I'll hold it, you can All right. assemble it. Actually, it's not going to come off. So, Jennifer got it on there upside down and um, actually it doesn't look like it wants to come off and it won't go all the way on. So that's probably a problem. So uh, what we'll do is we're going to pause the video for a second and be right back as soon as we figure out how to get this thing off. 
Craig's just averted. The wheel is off. Yeah. So, yeah, that was... That was... Scarlett is not overly excited about the stroller. She's barking at it. So that was really hard to actually get off. These pegs here, right here, go in these holes. And it's, all, it's the same holes on both sides. The problem is, neither one of these are labeled as up. So there's not really any way to kind of make sure it goes on right the first time. So what happened is, this end of the hole seems to be a little smaller, and it went down over this, and these little pegs here somehow expanded on it inside, and it made it so that it, it's kind of like it, once it goes on, it doesn't come off. So. So that anybody watching this video, if you're uh, putting one of these together yourself, the best way that I think I was able to find out, this little piece here that's above the, the axle, one side is solid, the other side has got like this little hole, you know, it looks like you can see the inside pieces. So those inside pieces are down. So right now this is upside down, but basically, imagine when it's put together, if you're gonna look down on it, it's gonna be the smooth piece up. So that way, you know, it's pleasing to the eye or something. So, let me put that on there. So that's on there. That's not going anywhere, so. There we go. That was a pain in the butt. I actually pinched my thumb a little bit. It's good stuff. Put one piece washer brake, one piece washer wheel through the axle. Here's the axle. Okay, so it's these pieces. Turn it around. Stick it back on the table. Yeah. At least it's late, made and easy to pick up. Yeah. All right. So this is the brake. I imagine that this foot side is going to go this way, so that way we don't have any more mishaps. Any mishaps? So what does this say again? Put. One piece washer. Does it even say where the washer goes? It just shows Through here. a bunch of arrows that don't make sense. Okay, so there's the wire, then this. I hope it's not supposed to go through these holes. Wheel. I see. Okay. So no, I don't think so. Okay, so what it, what it is is you got the bar, then you got a washer. This washer has a metal stuck on it, so I'm gonna grab a different washer. Alright, so the washer goes on the thing there, then the brake goes on it, so I guess it's through this big hole here. I'm imagining I'm doing the back left, so I'm going to do it so that way it's like that. And then, what do I do? I slide the wheel on, just like that, and then the little hole in the, in the top of this, on the end of the bar here on both sides. So one of these funky little pieces of metal go on there. Boom, look at that. Then what do you do? Now attach the rear wheels on the rear legs and here it clicks secure. Okay, so that'll go on there. So we've got to, now we got to do the other side. I'll hold the pin. All right, you're doing a great job. Let's see where's the other wheel. There it is. Awesome. And it goes right there. Oh, I can't put it in. Oh, okay. It's too small. It is pretty small. All right. I'm not too. Oops. All right. What are those? Those probably go over these. On the outside to cover it. Attach your rear, rear I? whatever, on these things. Make sure those are lined up. Let's go right on there. Right on there. And what does it say? To you oh. click. Or so I guess it locks in place. Uh, let's see. Now attach here, click. Brake. Step in the brake down to stop the stroller. Canopy. Open the thing as shown. Folding. Shows you how to fold and unfold. And that's it. So I guess that's really all those little. I don't know, it's extra. There's like four extra washers. And I forget what kind of pens these are called. I think they're like, maybe they're cotter pens? I don't know. So, when it's all said and done. Still have to do the cup holder, the same important piece. Oh, yes. Can't 
Let's not forget about that couple. So you there. have an undercarriage too, so you can put all of your extra stuff there. Forward. And then it zips so she can't get out, and then it has another piece on the top. So we just need to get the cup holder going. So we put it on the floor to do the cup holder. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't say anything about the cup holder, but I imagine it probably just snaps on top. Uh, there's so much plastic on this thing. Yeah, but it just snaps on top. That's for our beer. Yes. Beer, please. These holes, we just line right up to that. What's this thing? That's to when you close it, it helps keep it together. So make sure you put it back on. There. That's a set of cup holders. This is here? Yeah. I'm going to get it back on there. Did the biggest side go on first? So when you fold it, it latches on the other one. It doesn't undo. Yeah. Oh, so it, oh, okay, yeah. Like when you pull the bottom up. Cool. All right. All right. I'm going to take it for a spin. Yeah, now I just got to take it out. Oh, it's embarrassing. I'll be pushing she'll, it. She'll be pushing it. 